Hi everyone, thanks for watching my video and hanging out with me again. As a wedding photographer, I think it's incredibly important to help guide my couples with tips and tricks to ensure a smooth wedding day, but also to capture some amazingly beautiful images. So whether you're getting married and watching this video to get some tips and tricks for your own wedding, or you're a photographer looking for some advice for your clients, I hope you love the tips and tricks I'm about to share with you in this video. And if you do, I'd really appreciate you clicking the subscribe button and hitting the thumbs up button. Now let's get started. So let's talk about the ceremony. When you're walking down the aisle, remember to smile and focus on your partner who's standing at the end of the aisle or walking down the aisle. I know this might sound obvious, but when walking down the aisle, smile and focus on your partner and vice versa. This is important because the small action really improves the photos you're going to receive. So let me tell you how. Firstly, when you and your partner are focused at looking at each other, it brings out some of that raw emotion which are perfect for candid and intimate shots, such as tears, smiles, and laughter. Secondly, you get a lot more usable photos in that small stretch of a walk from the top to the bottom of the aisle than if you were not looking down the aisle or at your partner. Now, it is rare, but I've seen brides and bridesmaids walk down the aisle looking down at their feet or looking at the guests on the sides, perhaps even saying hi with big smiles or small waves. Now, these are really great photos, maybe not the feet, but uh, these are really great photos that come out, but you want more than that. If you're nervous about all the eyes being on you or you're shy, Focusing on your partner at the end of the aisle also helps because it tunnels your vision and you don't have to worry about what's going on on the sides with your friends and guests gazing upon you. You can even plan it out ahead of time with whoever's walking you down the aisle, whether it be your father, your mother, your brother. Halfway down the aisle, you know, plan it out. Maybe you can keep walking and look at each other and smile and then continue to walk looking at your partner at the end of the aisle. These bring you the best photos and you're not looking at your feet or something like that. Now, let's talk about when you get to the front. Remember to focus on each other during the ceremony. I think this is one of the most challenging moments for me as a photographer during the ceremony because a lot of the times the couple is looking at the officiant, priest or minister throughout the entire ceremony. A couple of these photos are great, but when it's the entire ceremony, you tend to have a little bit of a difficulty capturing the bride or the groom's face, especially when taking shots of their love story where you peek over their shoulders to capture the other person's face and reactions. It's a lot easier when a couple is looking directly at each other for most of the ceremony. Also, don't forget, are the shots shooting down the aisle directly at the couple. So if you're looking at each other for most of the ceremony, it really gives you the best images. Now, when you think about the pictures with the officiant, a couple here and there, don't forget, those are meaningful as well. Um, during certain religious festivities and ceremonies though, it is required to face the priest or minister, whereas other times it is not. So it's a great conversation, it's a great question. Whoever's officiating your wedding, just ask them ahead of time which way you should be looking. Now to the fun part, the kiss. So the kiss that seals the deal is one of the most important shots that you don't want to miss. And for that reason, I have always shared this tip with my couples. When the officiants say you may now kiss, too many times I've seen photos of the kiss where the couple twists a certain way so that you can't see their faces and you only see the back of one of the person's heads. I encourage all my couples to hold each other in any way that they feel comfortable, but make sure that first kiss is straight on in a way so that their faces are completely parallel to the camera. As, as I'm shooting straight down the aisle at them, I ask them ahead of time to freeze for about three to four seconds when they kiss like this. It allows myself as well as family and friends to capture an amazing shot. Then because holding a kiss for three to four seconds seems like eternity, it usually ma makes the couple naturally laugh, so they stop kissing and you get a wonderful shot of them enjoying the moment, laughing together, some, you know, some heads tilted back and whatnot. But then I always tell my couples, go in for a second kiss any way that you like. So right off the bat, you've got three great shots right there. 
Now, when you're walking up the aisle to make your exit, make sure it's fun. I usually remind my couples to take a fun shot about halfway through the exit, usually an arm up facing the camera and cheering, or stopping midway through the aisle and sharing another kiss together. These are such powerful images, especially with the guests and the family on the sides of the aisle cheering the newlywed couples on. Now, once we've gotten outside, tip number five, I always take a group shot. The wedding day goes by extremely fast, and depending on the wedding can also be super stressful. If the, side of the, if the size of the wedding ceremony allows for it, one photo I always capture is the group shot. Now, I would have gone to the venue ahead of time to scope out the area, do a site survey, so I would have already selected a place for a good group shot, and it's usually somewhere that is elevated, so I can look down at the entire group. I take a couple of shots. So I normally start with a simple, everyone face the camera and just smile shot. Then I'll ask the couple to kiss while everyone is still looking at the camera or ask them to look at the couple. Then for the final shot, I'll ask the couple to kiss again while everyone has a hand in the air cheering them on. And right off the bat, you've got three to four really great shots that all differ in some way. But the couple is going to appreciate it, especially since they'll be able to see everyone who is there. So with that said, five great tips, really quick and easy. Hope you liked it. Thanks everyone. And we'll see you in the next video. Remember, click the like and subscribe button if you found any of these tips and tricks useful. Bye for now.